Which mug do I want? Make tea not warm? Soul tire? Yes to Scottish independence. RSMP. You know what? I'll have yes to independence. Scottish blend tea. Although Unilever, if you really are pollu still polluting things, you guys need to cut it out. <clears throat> We've got to make tea in the most ecologically sound way possible. How would that say? No to nuclear weapons. See, this is why we should have voted yes in the referendum. We could have got rid of the nukes. No, we put the money to a type of thing to like, be careful for people with disabilities. I mean, why aren't we putting money to that? to actually put my um, you know, voting at the uh, upcoming election. Um, you know, if you're living in Scotland and you're voting uh, in the Scottish election, my humble opinion is SNP 1 and 2. For a nice sweet cup of tea. Oh, and definitely Nicholas Sturgeon for First Minister. This has just been me making a cup of tea. I should really get a computer out. I should really do a video on a computer. I think I might just do that. But which mooper? <clears throat> Got a couple to rebuild. Seems a bit too late for doing that right now. Hmm. Well, now that I have started in this vein, there's really only one thing I can do. The Compaq Armada E500. Brilliant machine. You've seen it on this channel before? Yes. You've seen it on this channel quite a few times? No, actually, not this one. Some of you will remember that um, a few weeks back, I actually uh, managed to procure a 900 megahertz version of the Compaq Armada E500 which has a slightly bigger screen instead of the 13.3 inch display that my 730, uh, 700 MHz model had. This one has a 14.1 inch display. Oh, and just in case some of you are thinking, are wondering actually, um, what has happened, um, you know, in case some of you are wondering 
about, you know, the uh, preceding footage of me making a cup of tea and talking about Scottish independence and what have you. Um, that, I think, uh, was more of a shout out to, um, you know, fans of this channel, you know, and my friends Road Geek and Elmo3 and Sensory 350A. You know, I know that they'll all get a laugh out of uh, me making a cup of tea talking about Scotland and how we should be independent before going on to uh, have a look at a compact Armada E500 because, you know, it's kind of become a, all these things have kind of become a meme. Um, yeah, in the same way, Elmo3 is changing out the motherboard and his bedside computer. Actually, I think he's doing that right now. Um, and Road Geek is busy playing something by Humongous Entertainment on the Packard Bell Legend 822. Yeah, right about now. Anyway, um, and because I've not said this yet, hey everyone, welcome to this video, Sans Frontier video. My name is Jay Wakefield, for those of you who are wondering who I am. Um, and like I said, this is a video about the Compaq Armada E500 900 megahertz edition. Now, when you last saw this machine, I literally just unboxed it and booted it up from the Acronis OS Selector boot floppy just to see if it like the machine was. But now I have it set up with some operating systems and a few programs. So I think we should just kind of Go and take a look at uh, what this machine has to offer. This time, yep. I was about to say this time we'll actually, um, you know, you know, press the power switch like I actually mean it. Hmm. Oh, it's a lovely cup of tea. <laughs> And, yep, yeah, this mouse works. That's good. Um, unfortunately, um, I'm not using a Microsoft mouse with this machine. I'm using a cheap Asda mouse. Probably should never do such a thing, considering that this is a Compaq Armada E500. And, to be honest, I don't very much care for Walmart. I will be getting a Microsoft mouse for it, though. It's the least I could do. So there's two operating systems on here, Windows 2000 and Windows 98. So why don't we boot up now into Windows 98? I have been asked for the um, oops for the boot screens for Windows 95, 98, and ME with the Compact logo. Um, rest assured, I will be working on that. And here we are, uh, logging into my server. I mean, uh, you know, because I've got Samba set up, uh, it can literally talk to any version of Windows I can think of, even 3.1. Oh, I have to wonder, has is, is this actually um, picked up the daylight saving time? Y yes, it has, I do believe. Well done to that. Go. Beautiful Windows 98 startup sound. Excellent. Excellent. So, why don't we have a look at, um, oops, why don't we have a look at some of the software that's on here. First of all, there's 3D Home Architect, although that doesn't really work too well in Windows 98. And yes, it's the same program that Brandon Bishop was using, um, you know, when he demonstrated it on his 486 Tandy machine. <coughs> 7-Zip, um, accessories, um, Compact battery utility can calibrate the battery. Compact mode 32 for um, doing the thing. DMA for uh, 
IDE devices, direct memory access. Um, compact set video, Fox Interactive, Croc. Infograms, Family Fortunes. Jask Paint Shop Pro 7. Black and Plate. Magic Desk for Mounting ISOs. Encarta. Office Tools. Plus 98. Microsoft Works. Roxio Easy CD Creator 5. Startup. One image, and then there's Microsoft Office. Oh, and Power DVD. Yay, Power DVD. This is not Office Two Thousand though. I've decided to go all out with this machine and make it a real J-approved machine. See, my favourite uh, version of Office of the old school is. Oh yeah, Office XP. I was about that. Okay. The Panama Papers have been leaked. But how much longer before the world elites start trying to make us believe it is Cuba's fault? You know, I do wonder. Oh, and here's Billy's favourite thing. Welcome to the Microsoft Works portfolio. Well, I just had to restart the computer there for a moment. And um, now we have come to this very interesting window and this is a nice segue on to something else that is quite me approved work suite 2002 and that was the first version of work suite that i ever used i remember um mum got it with her medium desktop back in 2002 and um you know i was really quite impressed with it you know it's just the stuff that you could do but you know you guys have heard you know why I liked Work Suite so much back in the day, and and you really don't need to hear it again. But um, we will go into the main menu, and we see uh, you know different uh, ways in which works can be used. You have a task centric view, so you know if you, whatever you want to do, you know it has all kinds of uh, different subsections on things that you can do with the software on your machine uh, letters and labels email and internet use letters and flyers research and education household management money management pictures and projects cards and crafts <coughs> travel information events and planning voy vehicle data um, sports and fitness music Synchronization, that would be, you know, with either a Palm or a Windows CE device, and help and ideas. You know, basically how this would work is, let's say, you know, we go to Household Management, and then we go to, well, we've got a few things in there, um, address book, uh, caregiver instructions, chores and errand lists, Home Improvement Worksheets, Home Inventory Worksheets, 
important household records instruction sheets so let's let's take a look at that and then <clears throat> you know I'm not sure at the moment I've never looked into these too much and it'll say the works task launcher cannot access the task you selected no that wasn't very good now was it menu who prints a menu in a house? I mean, okay, I mean, some of these things, they're, they're a bit esoteric now, you wouldn't need them, but I'm sorry. Unless you're actually running a bed and breakfast or something in your own home, which a lot of people do, you don't need a menu. I mean, I, I can imagine it, you know, if you want to be really organised with the kids, but yeah, it would be more of a menu of what's going to be what you're going to have that week rather than a menu. It's like, well, you can either have the... Well, you can start you off with the, the soup of the day, which uh, today is Cullen Skink, and... Um, or, uh, you know, you can have the Parma ham and watermelon. Uh, main course, we've got uh, the Balmoral chicken. That's always a popular favourite. Um, or uh, you can have the uh, fish supper and uh, maybe uh, something else, or I don't know. Uh, you, you could also have the um, the uh, Italian salad there. Or for the dessert, we've got rhubarb and custard, or something like that. Or um, uh, we've got the ice cream uh, again from Cullen, or we've got. The, the tablet, uh, you know, your choice of tablet, you know, iPad, Android, or uh, Windows, to, wait, no, that's not right, no, I got it a bit wrong, maybe I do need the menu, so, you know, just for our uh, kicks and grins, why don't we do this, uh, yeah, why don't we uh, do this menu on the smooper? So, um, yeah, we could uh, choose the colours, obviously, you know, I, I like blues. Oh, you didn't know. <laughs> Jings. Um, obviously, you know, you could choose any kind of font or colour scheme that you wanted or something like that. I just don't like this green, it's a bit too harsh. Oh, that seems like quite a nice colour scheme, but just watch, I'll have scrolled past it now. See, this is the only thing about the Wax Wizards, is that they're very, very, very unwieldy. Um, and it seems that that <laughs> that's not even slightly taken effect. I mean, what is this? And the works wizards are fine, but the works Adam for Microsoft Word. See? 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 This? Yeah? Can we apply it? Okay, so now it's a way to apply it, I think. Well, something's happening because I've got the egg timer. Yeah, who pity? Right, okay, that's not going to work. Never mind. Right, so let's... Um... <clears throat> Appetizers. Um... Get out of scotch broth. Oh. Or you could have... Um... Um, salad could have um, Caesar salad. A 
rocket. Uh, main courses. Could have stoveys. Our bro Smokey. Balmoral chicken. Haggis, Sneeps and Tatties. Abbotton Ale Pie. Desserts. Desserts, we've got Cullen Ice Cream. And this, this menu looks absolutely fine, except it just doesn't seem to be enough room. So, um, yeah, well, we'll get rid of this space. Have rhubarb and custard, and we'll have colour ice cream with brambles. And then beverages. Well, in Scotland, you're a wee bit spell for choice. We've got um, tea, coffee, or a fine selection of local, locally produced ales and lagers. And whiskey. I mean, obviously, you know, if I was going to do a proper menu, if I was actually going to be running a tea room or something, or, you know, be organising a meal, I, I think I would actually have the menu across a couple different pages and just be like, yeah, there's, there's all this. Highland B and B menu. So there you have it. Very nice. You've also got the program centric view, so basically you've got a list of all the different programs and if you click within them, it's all the different things that you can do. Or you could just kind of start the program yourself from the works task launcher. Very nice. Do you want to join Encarta Plus? No thanks. The software is 14 years old, actually 15, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure Encarta Plus is no longer. So what about Edinburgh? Let's, let's search Edinburgh. You see, I want to know if the rumours are true. Is Edinburgh really the place where people who come from Edinburgh come from? Because I've heard from Billy Carr very reliable source on these things, that Edinburgh is a place where people who come from Edinburgh come from. Edinburgh, city capital city of Scotland, on the southern shore of the Firth of the Forth. Um, Edinburgh is the second most popular populous city in, the, in Scotland after Glasgow, and is Scotland's administrative, cultural, educational and service industry hub. Excellent. <clears throat> so, I wonder if I can get the, um, I wonder if I can get the computer to play some music. I probably can, you know. Um, I don't know where the media scanner is here, but, yeah. 
if we um, we scroll down to the south of the highlands is the central lowlands yep oh yeah rivers and lakes I think you mean lochs do you mean lochs I know you mean lochs and here's the sound of a bird And then you've got other things. Ah, culture. You can get some Highland music. So, for those of you who are wondering, this is a compact Armada E500 playing bagpipe music. That is what it's like. And on that note, I think it's time for another cup of tea. Well, time for a cup of tea at least. Mm. Excellent. Right, we've seen work, sweet. Oops. And that's what it looks like um, restored to a standard window. Anyway, I think it's time we saw how well this plays games. So here's one of my favourite games from uh, my university days, Revolt. Um, there we go. Now... Yes, okay, I, I was at university about nine years after, um, after this game came out. Very interesting music, but um, I think we're just going to kill it. There we go. Um, but, yeah, this, this game was, was nine years old when I first started playing it, but... Um, when I was at uh, Aberdeen University in the halls, my flatmates and I used to um, actually make use of the university's network infrastructure. And uh, we used to just kind of have multiplayer races on here. And, you know, it's just kind of one of those games that, you know, I really quite liked. So, what we're going to... What we're going to do is... Um, we're just gonna. There we go. Let's let's have a blue car. Um. Yeah, we're just gonna have a quick wee race on this, and yeah, like I said, I mean, this was something that I I properly properly enjoyed while at university. Oh, and spoiler alert! I am absolutely terrible at this. Um, I seem to remember being able to be uh, pretty well and truly mullered by my flatmates. No reference there to Elmo 3. I, I promise that that wasn't actually. Ah, away in you, away in bow your head. Ah. What you doing? I'm facing the wrong way. Right, you. Yeah. I'm coming to get you. Oh, James. Maybe not. I, w I was coming to get you. That was the original plan, but can fit like it is. Plans change. Usually the fault of David Cameron. Damn it. Still facing the wrong way. Not doing well at all. And I've been lapped. You see, this is why we should have voted yes. Oh, dang it, I thought that was a power up. You know what? We'll, we'll give it another shot. <laughs> oh, 
off to the flying start as usual. Yeah, this is amazing. Why is there bombs on the streets? Did someone... Did someone not go to de-radicalization training as mandated by the government? That is terrible. I'm down playing basketball. Actually, I have reason to believe that this game is set in America. You're a radical extremist, your motor's on fire, and you probably look ridiculous as well. What's the respawn button on here? I forget. And that dog keeps barking. Honestly. Is that my horn? That's pathetic. Well, I think that's about enough of that for one day. That's absolutely fantastic. And while we're here, why not let's go for a wee classic. Croc Legend of the Gobos. Did I not bother to... I didn't. That's just brilliant. So we get to see the same level, people. Yeah. So this, this is what Croc looks like on PC. Um, you, you've never seen this before. You think you have, but this is, this is a brand new level. It's, it's special. Now I'm getting on. Yay, purple gem! Wow, that was graceful. That went well. I mean, why, why all these lava pools? I mean, to me, that, that just kind of looks like... It kind of looks like... To me, this should be seen as a warning. This is what America will look like post-fracking. You'll just have open pools of lava for no apparent reason. Crystal. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You can wait. You can do it. You can go through the door. Oh, well done. Well done.
Yeah, because of course that went well. Come on, come on, come on. Do you mind? Très bien. I have a key. I'm gonna use it. One, two, three. So here we go. This is Croc. Where's the any key? That old joke. So that is Croc. And that is Windows 98. So why don't we have a look at what Windows 2000 has to offer us? Love that sound. So here we are, Windows 2000. Oh, and the ATI graphics drivers, they want to pop up and say something. Something along the lines of, Who? Hey, we're EI graphics drivers, and we're here to mess up your computer. <laughs> anyway, um, again, we've got Office XP. I've not quite finished my Windows 2000 install yet. Um, you know, but there's um, there's certainly enough on here actually to um, to. I need to properly show you around. So, um, you know, I think that's what we'll do. You know, I'll just, um, I mean, Windows 2000, you, you kind of see what it is like, you know, what it does. Basically, it was the forerunner to Windows XP uh, for the business, from the business side of things. And while it was never meant as a home operating system, a lot, a lot of games would play nicely with it. Some wouldn't, but a lot do. And uh, with these um, Armadas, with the ATI, with the um, ATI Mobility Graphics, I don't know why this is, but Theme Park World seems to work a lot better under Windows 2000 than what it does on 98. On 98, I just get a load of artifacting. So guys, this really is going to have to be a quick game of Theme Park World. Uh, my phone's battery is telling me that it's low, so it could uh, decide to cut me off at any moment. So, um, you know, what we'll do, we'll just, um, you know, just kind of go in, place a couple rides, and, you know, just check it works. Welcome to Theme Park World. First, type your name into the text box. Click a button to choose an instant action. Great. This area is called the lobby. And from here, you can see the gates to four fabulous parks. You can... <clears throat> I'm really sorry I've got to cut you off there, Mr. Scottish Guy, but... Yeah. I love it when you lose at the, the slideshows, he starts greeting. Be about here. Oh, James, I've forgotten the woman... Oh, there we go. Prehistoric mystery where reptilian giants roam the land and where you season the primordial soup. Welcome to Lost Kingdom. The theme park the time forgot. Move the blueprint to wherever you want to build the ride. 
the green arrow shows what to do to build the cube. <laughs> to <clears throat> and go to the this bell screen. Stuff. <clears throat> First, you move the blueprint to the site you want. Second, if whatever you're building <laughs> to build the cube. <clears throat> This is where you can buy stuff to build in your park. <clears throat> First, you move the blueprint to the site you want. Second, if whatever you're building has an entrance, which is marked with arrows, make sure you hook it up to a path so people can get in and out. <clears throat> to build the... <clears throat> See the control panel over there at the bottom left part of the screen? Yep. The buttons on it do a bunch of different things. Do they? Click them and I'll tell you more. Oh. That meter on the left side of the panel shows how happy the visitors are, if there are any visitors, that is. Oh, that's just so cliched. <laughs> First, you move the blueprint to the site you want. Second, if whatever you're building has an entrance, which is much... <laughs> Make sure you use a cue and then connect it to the track. Oh look, crossroads. So there we go, theme park world. We can open the park now even though there's no facilities. You can use the plus and minus buttons on. <clears throat> even though there's no facilities like uh, toilets or cameras or staff or anything like that. But yeah, there we go. Um, the park is now open for business and you know folk can come in and Yeah. So there you have it. Hey, do you know about? Yes, I'm aware, I'm very well aware about golden tickets. The theme park. So this has been a wee look at the Compact Armada E500, the 900 megahertz edition E500, and um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter and like Videos on Frontier on Facebook. The URLs will follow. But until, until then, thank you for watching this video and please join me for my next one. Cheerie bye.